Last time on the R&B Divas LA Reunion Special. You, Claudette, were in a group with two guys and you slept with both of them. Well, damn. Sloppy Let boots. me clear something up. This was Kelly's project. Do we all agree on that? No, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, where is Dawn Robinson? The streets are talking. Who knows what? And I didn't want to do no monologue. Wow. Let's be real. I said, can we tour? Because I said, I don't do monologues. I do radio. Oh, they're saying the meeting didn't happen. Oh, the meeting happened. So I was told right. drama was allowed. Violence was unacceptable. Were you all genuinely angry at Kelly or were you acting? No acting wizard? was involved. No me. acting was involved. No acting. Oh, friend. Part two continues tonight. She don't know me, so I don't understand. It's just a challenge. A whole bunch of things are swirling in my head. I'm going to leave this alone because I don't owe you any answers. I, I you owe don't it owe to me nothing, audience. and nobody owes you anything I either. I, I don't believe that that wasn't for me, and I don't believe that it was no props. And I don't care what you say today. Vaseline, a straight razor, and a pair of Timberlands. There was no razor. That's what you said. The wizard told me I had to. Well, I wish the wizard told Dawn that she had to be here, wizard. We were supposed to share all of, all of our stories. And now for the conclusion of our reunion special. Thank you. Fred, were you relieved when Kelly and Dawn left the show? Yes, I was. Uh, only because of the confusion that was going on. Um, but when I initially, you know, was ma mapping out the whole show, I always had Dawn and Kelly in, in mind, at least up to like maybe a week or two before we actually went up. But then when kind of everything went crazy, I was like, maybe it's best if they're not coming on, at least I know and I can go in the direction of working with the other four mm -hmm. names. The fans feel, and me too, mm -hmm. that um, Kelly was disrespectful of you. How do you feel? When the confrontation happened, it kind of caught me off guard. Uh, I was like, okay, am I being disrespectful? Uh, she don't know me, so I don't understand. Is this a challenge? A whole bunch of things were swirling in my head, so I just had to. What were you much thinking when she? I mean, she was in your face, and she said, "You know, can I trust you with the, my earliest childhood memories?" What, what were you thinking? I was thinking that um, she was challenging me, but she was also trying to see if maybe I was that dude, if I can bring those things out. Mm. Yeah, I can. I'm bringing it out you now. You were really so. professional. Because mm -hmm. a different kind of guy would have gotten loud. Kelly, yes. how come you got up in that man's face like that? I was told he'll be there for a couple episodes and then he'll be gone and you all can get back to work. Who said that? I'm not obligated to reveal conversations that took place with my management, just like you're not obligated to reveal conversations that I took place with yours. I can reveal whatever I want to. Because we have different I contracts, we have different things happening, and I have to respect that. And my understanding is that he put together a stellar project. So if you, if you supposedly knew that Fred was there, then why did you act so surprised when you saw Fred on camera where we, the viewers, could see? In that particular day, I'd actually learned, I think, that there were several rehearsals. Oh. Most of those rehearsals took place on Thursdays when I was at the Savoy doing an open mic night. So I wasn't yeah. aware. No, because right. no, your, open, your support was at night. night. Every Rehearsing. day for six days. We rehearsed six days. Open mic night is every Thursday. Um, and again, they did a lot of shooting with all of us, but there are schedules that are kept with us in smaller groups and also in individual groups. I showed up when I was asked to be there. Oh. Mo, what's your side of the story? When I did meet with Kelly, she had said, yeah, so do you know Shantae is having secret meetings with Fred? I said, no, they're not having no secret meetings because he came to my house to rehearse with me. Nothing was a secret. That's why I'm like, if they was keeping secrets from you, then woe be unto them. Then that was, then that was shady. I did not know that. So I'm getting stuff like, Fred gonna be the director because in order to get on camera, whether it's reality TV or not, you have to have a contract. You can't just hop on nobody's show, talk about I direct, I produce, I do the, it don't work like that. Right. So I'm just like, who, who else? I wasn't trying to buck against nobody ideal system. For that, I could have took my black ass home. But I was just like, yo, Fred is the one that said he signed off his paperwork. Let's get it. Let's just get this stuff done and win. Let me ask this. Okay, so that. if they ask you to buck, did they ask you not to be in scenes with me too? They said, you said you didn't want to be in scenes with me. Or that she wasn't That's allowed around. I actually, I, and unfortunately I don't have my laptop, but I actually pulled an email last night that I sent to you and said, I got canceled at the last minute for a scene with you. I don't know what that's about. No, I'm not talking about one but, scene. I'm talking but, about that you did not want to be in any scenes with me anymore. 
I never said that. I actually was told that about you. I don't get this. Like, why would they target you as a disrespect magnet? I really did want to know that. Okay, I want to know this. Yes. When Mo had a problem with you, Kelly, and Mo met up with you at the restaurant, yes. and you showed up, I didn't find anything disrespectful about what Mo said regarding your recent treatment of her and the girls. But you immediately jumped into defensive mode and started calling for your husband. And I gasped. I gasped! Yes. You can tell me why you haven't spoken to me, and then- All right. Roll! Jeffrey, roll! Jeffrey, roll! Yes. And then you called for your husband, and I double gas. I, I didn't yell for my husband. I yes. said, please go get my husband. Yes. I said, Philip Bryant. I don't yell for my husband. Yes. That's embarrassing. And as a woman, I know to be the lesser. My, my, my husband's the head of the household. So I was just like, wait, what's going on here? I had on heels. I came because they said, we're going to sit you down and talk with Kelly about the week. Like so ladies. Said, and then I said, well, I don't, Kelly's not talking to me right now, so can we just find out what's going on? They said, not a problem. That's that was why, a Tuesday. You, I hadn't spoken to you since, That's what, Sunday, because I came to church, or... and y'all usually come out and walk me to my seat. You left me in Park Why I never walked her to at your church seat. Gabby didn't, walked you to your seat. You didn't speak to my husband Gabby walks you to your seat. I don't no, walk you your husband usually seat. comes out and helps me park my car because your church okay. was in I, El Segundo. It was in the hood. Um, yeah, it is she, in the hood. Yeah, I'm, you I'm, you I'm didn't even talking. talk to me on Sunday at church. Yeah, you used to always come hug. I used to go up there and help you lead praise and worship. All that stuff. You didn't do that every Sunday. You came up one Sunday. Okay, Chef called me out there Sunday, like, but Chef already told me can, I could come up there any Sunday. Can, but you didn't do it I'm every Sunday. I'm glad that you keep it your monotone inside voice, because any other time you You didn't yelling. do it every Sunday. And you trying it right you did, now. Um, no, I'm not trying yeah, it. Yeah, you are trying okay. it. This, this, there what she goes with that bipolar disorder. I just disorder. had a question, too. I'm sorry. Wow. When she wow. said we had, we had a secret rehearsal, when she said I had a secret rehearsal last night, and you said I knew about it because I told you. That's very good. I was my original question. Let's bring this back to Fred and talk about the props that Kelly showed up with yes. at rehearsal. Mm -hmm. Fred, mm -hmm. talk. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, were you shocked, Fred? You know what? Honestly, what's so crazy about it, um, I didn't know what the whole process as far as who I did was. I'm trying to, you know, win the ladies' trust, and I'm trying to win Kelly trust, and I'm trying to keep my job. I, it was a whole bunch going on, so when the, when the props came out, and the props, uh, for those of you who missed, is Vaseline, a straight razor, and a pair of Timberlands. There was no razor. That's what you said. That's what you said. There was no razor. I got some Timberlands. I know that's right. Some Vaseline and a straight edge. That's what she said. I didn't that's see a razor. I saw the Timberlands. I saw the grease. It didn't register at first. It was just like, oh, I was props. laughing. Because we were laughing. I was started laughing. Because yeah, it was something. Because it was I random. What it, what it, what, how it spinned it, off into that. It was that very particular. random, especially yeah. for grown but women. But then when I rode away, I, I was like, you all for that. oh, that was Tim's and yeah. Vaseline. Okay. You're from Philly, so we was like, wait a minute. For someone, who wasn't, <laughs> doing, <laughs> for okay. someone who wasn't doing any rehearsals, why, why was there props? I don't believe that that wasn't for me. And I don't believe that it was no props. And I don't care what you say today. It's disappointing to hear you I say that. I don't care because I know you got real it. calm because we, on we the had second the conversation thing. You did, and the, I didn't believe you that day. But you said that you did. No, I didn't. I said you if did. it wasn't for me, good. You said that you didn't. You said that you never felt like I threatened you. I asked no, you. You did said I that I look you? at you. She's taking off her earrings. Now, no, what are you going to do? Bring out the vaccine? Maybe that'll hit me when I get back to the hotel and I'll think she's threatening me now because that's what happened No, listen. No, I'm sorry, but no. So... No. Do you well, feel as that's though, even more? That's even more. Do you yeah, feel as though so this show edited you to be mean? I think they had options and they picked one because. But can't nobody make you do something were, that ain't on film. There were you're, nobody you're, can create something nobody that wasn't can there. Create, well, well, if it that's wasn't not one hundred percent true. And let me say this: it was off screen. Going on. Off screen, if it would be different if we had Kumbaya off the screen. Yeah, right. but if Kumbaya, Kumbaya was not off not. the screen, if it was some kind of something. I just feel like somewhere in there, integrity, some kind of something should have been said that, you know what, take what I do, but take it with a grain of salt. Because it's been over, and I've seen her, and she didn't speak to me. I looked at her in her face like I'm looking you in the face, and she said, I need a drink. Is it over I now? I need a drink? I don't know. Where were I we when I, I said I needed a drink? At the Divas premiere. Oh, when I said hello and then asked for some water. You, you didn't speak to no, me? No, 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 I'm so sorry, baby. I, I I'm didn't so speak sorry. to you. Yeah. I didn't speak to you. You're right. No, you and didn't. And I ain't even tripping. Yeah. But so what I'm is, saying is I'm telling the truth about it. She's she's right. There was there was one moment between us. She stopped. I and said I was hello. I asked for some if water. If it was gonna be okay, this is over. Now we good. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. And it's not over. Well, I, well it know, wasn't I then. I don't, I don't know, know if it's I don't over know now how to take I don't know so, how to take when we have a conversation and the last conversation that we have 
the night of my birthday party, when all of the cameras are down and we're all unmiked, you lean over and you say to me, Kelly, I don't care what anybody says to you or what happens while these cameras are rolling. I think you're the bomb, and this is just for TV. And I'm I didn't say this is just for TV. You Sorry. said this is no, no. just. You said this is no, just for TV. No, I said, Shantae, I didn't I don't say that. I live in TV. I live at home. You said I, so I ain't do never I. I've been on TV. That's exactly you said, my you point. said so do I. I said okay. Kelly, do you feel like these girls have backstabbed you? Well, I, I feel like that there was a level of trust that was lost among all of us. I think they don't trust me like they trusted me in the beginning. Mm -hmm. I know I don't trust them like I trusted them oh. in the beginning. I think there was a lot of third party hand in that. Okay. Not at and all. unfortunately, um, I think we find ourselves in a place where it's definitely not what it was in the beginning. I'll stay on record. That. I've had this conversation with them. I've had it with production. Um, at the end of the day, they are doing what they need to do to make a show that's going to re put revenue dollars in their bottom line. But you and as a grown, as a grown woman, matter, I have say, learned booked. to understand I'm that. Booked, so. I've grown to, right, with questions on the other side of it and statements on the other side of that as well. So if that's all they see, then that's all they know. That's all you but, told us. But I will say that that's untrue. My you told us at the table the same day I was sick. You well, was like, you know what, guys, I, I have to bow out because yes, I'm booked. Yes, but it's booked. not all I said. I'll come you said there, I'll make a pie, told you. I'll be the loudest no. person in the Is audience, I'll leave the host. That's what is you that basically, and then I you told you. Out. You just said that's all I told you. That's not all I told you. You really, you stopped talking to that's me after that. That's not all I told you. Stopped you stopped talking no, to me we're, after we're that. In, we're in conversation now. We're talking about when we were talking. Business and personal. Our personal conversations didn't make it to camera. We're in when we were, exactly. But we are introducing stuff that took place off camera which instigated stuff that did happen no, you're on camera. Trying to so what I'm, you, she's trying to vindicate so what herself I'm saying, I'm and no, make I don't her need victimized to vindicate. by production. No, 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 do you think that I don't need the to vindicate Riz, myself? AKA the production my, my work of this show I don't need to um, has, is responsible for most of this dissension. Let me tell you something. I was like, first of all, we need to get in here and get this work. Ain't none of us got songs on the radio. Don't come in here acting grand. Some people was coming acting grand and it wasn't even that serious. Who's, who was grand? Who you think? Kelly, how you doing? Oh, wow. Up next. I'm going to leave this alone because I don't owe you any answers. I, I you owe don't it owe me nothing, audience. and nobody owes you anything I'll, either. I didn't ask you a question. I didn't tell you nothing either. Wonderful I don't want you to ask. Mo. You don't even have to look Wonderful. at me. Wonderful. No it's, it's all good. was coming acting grand and it wasn't even that serious who's who was grand who you think kelly how you doing oh wow come on son okay i'm gonna leave this alone because i don't owe you any answers I, I you don't owe me nothing audience. and nobody owes you anything I'll, either i didn't ask you a question i didn't tell you nothing either Wonderful i don't want you to ask mo. you don't even have to look Wonderful. at me no more it's it's all good you're on television and you're getting what you want out of it I, no and you got what Michelle you want. A, um how do you feel about dawn not being here i'm disappointed well, and how do you feel about her dropping out of the diva logs? I was hurt by both of them not wanting to do it with us in the beginning because at first I wasn't even going to be there. I had a show that day booked so I couldn't do it from the beginning, but then the wizard told me I had to. <laughs> well, I wish the wizard told Dawn that she had to be here, wizard. One of the things that I think that this show exposed about Dawn is that Dawn is not as strong as the strength of Invoke. Okay, no Dawn, backbone. sorry. No disrespect. Um, go. This is, industry is made for strong people. I'm 4'11". I'm the shortest of them all. So I have to come in with the Napoleon complex like team win. Take it to the top. You don't like it? I'm still going to go on with or without you. I mean... Along with being in Invoke, she was also her. in Lucy Pearl and I think one other band. Any word on why she wasn't with, why she, did she get kicked out of those other groups? That's what I had heard. I had no idea. The only thing I thought was a little strange is that she kept going, Kelly, help me, help me figure out what I'm going to do. And she opened it was just, all of us. It seemed like she didn't I do know. her own work. Because we like, all had son. to do our own homework. Yes. Even when we weren't there. Hold that thought. Because, Fred, um, you're sitting where Dawn should be sitting. And I think we extracted all the information from you that we need at this particular time. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Fred. Thank you, ladies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Fred. Fred. Love, Fred. Love you, Fred. You did a great job, uh, by the way. At the beginning Very of happy. the season, everybody, the Divas formed a close and sisterly bond. They were brought together through their love of music. And, of course, the drama ensued and the tension mounted. And things went from bad to worse with the monologue. Let's take a look and then we'll talk. So I won't be a part of the monologues. It means less drama. 
then I'm okay with that. I'm completely fucked. That's an excuse, a cop-out. I'm not doing it either. What the f*** is that? This is wrong to do to Kelly, and I just feel convicted with that. Unacceptable. You, you call me what you want. You're a godly woman. You're weak for that. Where's your you God right now? Where's your God right now? You don't quit because somebody else. Then she had the nerve to ask me, where's your God? I said, oh, listen no, what I said. I said, no, bitch, no. you ain't even saved. I'm not going backwards. If it be a one-woman show, then I'll do it. You also ideas. said you could do it by yourself. I could. I said this can be a one-woman show. Let me know where I can show. buy a ticket. And she accused me of being two-faced, or I guess, or saying that I was saying one thing in front of her and one thing behind her back. I guess I'll buy a ticket. Ladies, I was thinking about inviting Dawn and Kelly. I just wanted to know how y'all feel about that. I've been personally offended by both of them. So I'm like, if you want to invite, then cool, but I don't want them by my dressing room. I'm done. You know, I'd rather you invite Cindy and Terry than, than them Ooh, two bras. No that. disrespect. The real invo. Ooh, no, no, no. Mo. So Dawn has quit the show. Yeah, she had quit when she came to that rehearsal. Well, I was, like, it was random as hell. She walked in and her spirit was just off. So when she came in, I was like, you good? And she was like, yeah, guys, I'm going to quit the monologue. I was like, huh? Like, what is going on here? That, at that point, oh, I was just wait, like... Oh, wait, wait, yeah. wait. Tell us what she said, she said about Kelly, because she ended up joining you forces with you, Kelly, for another monologue. Yeah. Yes. Tell me what, uh, what... When she came in, do you remember verbatim? Because this is what I remember her saying. She said, she said I'm going to quit because I feel, I feel it's a disrespect that they're doing to Kelly. I was like, do Kelly manage you? I said, because basically stating to her, you're the one who needs this more than all us. No shade. Like, you're the one who needs this the most. You sure you want to quit? I said, if you quit for another bride, then you weak. And, she and then she said, was like, she Bleh. said that we were wrong because she felt like we were treating Kelly. We weren't being fair to Kelly. And so that's when Mo, that's when I turned up. She turned, and then she stood up, and then she said to Mo, "Where's your God?" And that's when it got really good. Right. And Misha, like you covered your face with a notebook at that point. Yes. You just didn't want. Well, because Mo brought up that pie. See, you, you they didn't show you this pie, but Mo went like this. Oh, y'all just scared of Kelly and everything. I listen all this pie, yeah, and. Uh, I was like, pie, I love I said, cause I said, I told you, I said, I told Kelly that you were scared of her. Yeah. I even told Kelly once, I said, Dawn is the little fib. She's so timid. Yeah. I'm just like, I don't I'm understand. So shocked. I'm not now. Well, while we're talking about Dawn, everybody caught what you said, Mo, about um, Dawn wasn't the real star of the En Vogue group anyway. It was all about Cindy and Terry. Mm -hmm. Do you have any regrets of saying that? No. This is why we love little Mo. <laughs> she calls it the way she sees it. So you all continue the diva logs without Dawn. Um, how did that work out for you? Amazing. I thought it went well. I really did. So do you regret, do you regret not being involved with the diva logs now? I regret not being able to be in the audience. I did feel like moving forward inside of the situation, yeah. it wouldn't be a help. But I did want to be there. Are you offended I that Mo said that she wants to take the diva logs on the road? Uh, no, I think that they have the right to do that if that's what they want to do. I mean, you know, I, I, I do have a monologue show. And now let's talk about that. So you and Dawn branched off and did your own monologue show. And we never got a chance to see that. But guess what I have for you? Mm-hmm. Up next. What's going through your mind, Mo? We were supposed to, we were supposed to share all of, all of our stories. Divas. Even though the monologue drama seemed to cause a permanent rift between the divas, Kelly and Dawn didn't let that distract them from putting together their own separate version of the diva logs. And guess what, my friends? We've got an exclusive clip of Kelly's performance. Let's watch. One, two, three. How many times do I go to sleep before you come back to me? Mommy, where are you? Where are you? Please come and get me. 
She just yells and screams at me. She just says mean lies to me. She made me lay down. She made me undress. She made me keep silent while she did the rest. And at first, at first it tickled. But then it felt weird. I don't want to do this. Mommy, I'm so scared. Sometimes. So, Kelly, at three years old, you were raped by a trusted member of your family, a cousin. Yes. How does that cousin feel knowing that you told this story? Like, has this caused all kinds of crap in the family? Um, she'll see that I told it when that airs. Okay. Okay. Mo, you're twitching. going through your mind, Mo. Because we were supposed to, we were supposed to share all of, all of our stories, because just like G was molested, I was molested, my sister was molested, I told my story, the same person that was molesting my sister molested me, and I was like, yo, just molest me, don't mess with my little sister. Well, that was rape, stuff happened to, like, all of us, like, we were supposed to share this and for it to come to this. And, and, and like, it just doesn't feel, it just hurts. It just hurts. So you didn't know this until you just saw I that piece? I didn't know. I didn't know. That's why I was just like, what is going on? We have to share this piece. Because we had men come up to us after the monologue and say, yo, y'all blessed our lives with that. We had some men be set free and healed from our, th those are our testimonies. They yeah. were called monologues and diva laws, but we got to testify. Nobody knows why I sing through my pain and all this stuff. Like, this is the reason why I do what I do, so I can help somebody. And then for us to have this platform, somebody's child is going through that. Somebody has dealt with that, and that junk hurts. You carry that. And I honestly, and I'm saying, because I love Kelly, I think that's what her defense mechanism, because her innocence was stolen so young, now she just, Three years she, old. Just, she just doesn't trust people. How were you? I was three, four. My sister, she was younger than me, so by the time I was six, it started with her. And, and it wasn't was... a family member. It was somebody from yeah. our church. So from can the I church. address that? Because you're absolutely 100% right. I was told every day your mother is never coming back for you, and this is what will be every single day. I said that to them when we met. When your mother came home from the hospital with your sister, did you ever talk to your mother about what your 18-year-old cousin had been doing to you? Not it. No one ever tells on the molester. Nobody ever tells you on the molester. You always tell once you're grown and you wonder why you pull have away. You, have you talked about it to this day? I, I, other than my husband, out loud in yes. a room in front of people, yes. they were the first to hear it. And so for me, when I say moving forward with the monologues, at a point when it got so tainted, I couldn't because revealing that will always be connected. So with the dissension, with the discord, with the misunderstanding, with whatever, I felt violated all over again uh -huh. because I felt like I'd released something that was very personal and very hurtful and for anything less than the unification of this unit and what was supposed to come on the other side of it to come out as a result, it felt like it was in vain. So now that two separate diva logs have been done and tears have been shed here, over something common. Is there any way that you all can get together and do one diva monologue and take it on the road? Or too soon? We sisters for life. Me and my other sister fighting real life. Like, it's gonna be... Can you go on the road with the diva log? Can, can, can you, do you all want a hug or something? I don't care. I, I don't hold grudges. The Lord is coming back. Okay. And I, I can. Because I, I, let me just say, I love everybody on this stage. If you ask me in, 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 in any interview, I will t they, you'll hear me say, I love and respect each one. I can go down the line and tell you why I love each one. Well, I, I, I we'll love, start with the hug from I, Let's start with the hug. 
Let yeah. me tell you why I love you while I'm hugging you. Because you How are you doing? because you are resilient <laughs> and you are that church girl that made it just like I did and you have a responsibility and an assignment just like I do. That's why I love you. I love you because come, 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 I wanna hug you. I love you because if you can come back and move all the way across the country with three kids with what you've been through and decide that you're going to restart your career when people say that where you are just in terms of your age, it can't happen. I love the fact that you decided to kick everybody in the teeth and say, I can do this. I love you because you have one of the most unique talents I've ever seen in my life. And in my mind, I've always wanted to look like you. So I get to look like you through you. Aww. And you are uniquely talented. Oh, so I don't I don't not love anybody to me before there was Mary, before there was Faith, before there was me, there was Michelle A. And she was singing R&B melodies over rough hip hop beats Aww. before any of us. And to me, that's the reason why I felt like this show should never have happened without her, not in the city of Los Angeles. Uh huh. And that's the truth. And I've told you that from the beginning, like when you lose so many people, I've lost so many people personally and in this business who I've been close to, you tell yourself Life is too short to be around people who make you crazy or unhappy or that you don't want to be around. And for me, it was never. Is it? Is it? Are we? Are we all pretty good up here? By the way, you mentioned <laughs> something that I meant to say to her. Look, I, I had no idea you could hit the Mariah notes. Yeah. What? Hey. Three, two, one, hit it. Hey. You better whistle. And on that note, <laughs> we'll be right back with more R&B Divas LA. Up next, can't talk about divas without talking about plastic surgery. <laughs> Here we go. Uh oh. to the R&B Divas reunion special. Jasmine from the jasminebrand.com actually has an Instagram question for all the ladies. Let's watch. Hi ladies, it's celebrity blogger Jasmine Brand of the jasminebrand.com. Now this question is for the entire cast. After watching the first season, which scene was the hardest for you to watch and why? Hmm. Good one, Jasmine. Uh, Claudette, what was uh, the difficult part for you to watch on the show? Um. I would say reliving that moment. My daughter got burnt. Yeah. By the way, how is your daughter? How? She's doing wonderful. The, the skin is healing. Yes. I, okay. And That's nice to hear. worked on her very, very, all my family and friends. Well, I'm glad to hear that she's doing yeah, better. She's doing great now. Mm -hmm. Mo, what was the hardest for you to watch? I would say the situation with me and Dawn. The reason being because I really cared about Dawn's situation. I mean, getting kicked out of a group and then her situation which she was telling us off camera, like her what car would be breaking, you? her car would be breaking down at Kelly's birthday party and she would have to put water in it so everybody would have to help. Like I think some of the most triumphant stories are here, but I think she had the best story. Like she's been kicked out of everything. What is it? Does she have a bad attitude? No, it's just, she just is scared of everything. And so when you're afraid, the devil chew you up and spit you out. Yeah. Let's um, lighten it up a bit. We can't talk about divas without talking about plastic surgery. <laughs> Here we go. Uh-oh. Misha Yes. The I haven't nose. been on no table in 15 years. You haven't been on a table in 15 uh -uh. years? Not a slab, not sleep, no propofol, and nothing else. Propofol? Yeah. That's the Michael Jackson That's stuff. the Michael Jackson. Michael, that's How you what doing? you go to sleep with when you get on the table. Oh. Um, are those your uh, born breasts or are those breast implants? These are my born breasts. Okay. Now, the nose is very obvious. You've also talked about abuse. So pardon the blogs and me if we try to put two and two together. Was your nose broken by, say, one of your baby's fathers? Yeah. One of my... Baby's Boy fathers. Friends, yeah, hit me and crooked it and so I had to try and straighten it and it take years because it cost a lot of money. One of your baby's fathers we're speaking of. That um, broke your nose. That broke your Absolutely. nose. Absolutely. And, and you stayed? Did, I did, stayed did because ever... I didn't know. My father had never told me that he loved me until just the last three years when my mom died. Oh. So I think I had to go back and 
figure that out. Yeah, yeah. So, that's in my book, but I think that had a lot to do with getting beat was love to me. Yeah. Because when I got with, believe it or not, Shook, he really didn't beat me. He really didn't? Just sometimes? Him, no. Oh. And I asked mm -hmm. him, well, why aren't you beating me? You don't like me? I asked him that. Oh. And he thought, no, that's not, you know, that's... So by saying Suge didn't beat you, the finger is pointing to you, Dr. Dre. Well, but he knows. Mm -hmm. that's, that was very public, though. I, well... It was very, very public. So that wasn't a secret that most people... Damn. Because every video... Is he a big... Five, no shame. Sorry. I, I did five videos, and we had to cover three black eyes. At each. It seemed like the day before the video, I would get a black eye and have to cover it. But it was okay because I loved him, and I truly, truly, I truly... Thinking. I thought he loved oh, me. I so mean, nice. really. I didn't take it as anything bad, nor did I grow up seeing it in my household. Damn so those headphones. People don't, you They're know. called Beats by Dre. Hello. So now you know why the, the accent on the beat. How you doing? But wait, but let me clear, but let me clear that up to make that make sense. There's no clear so, up, Michelle. You well, said it all. Well, but, but I finally realized that that wasn't good. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, the person who helped me see that was you, who helped me see that. It wasn't, a, you know, a normal But that thing. was probably a man ego thing to take you from Dre. Like, you were like uh, olive oil with Popeye and Brutus. Well, you know what I'm saying? Well, that could be true, but I will say that he tried to, to do that one time to me, but I fought back. He tr uh, Suge tried yes, to beat you one yes, time, but you fought back. Not beat me. He just... He, he tried to rough was, you up a bit. Yeah, but I, I was... By that time, I was over it, and there was things flying, and it was really... I was ready there. Breaking stuff up there oh, in the yeah. mansion. Oh, yeah. 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 Wow. When I got home from the hospital. Well, now here's the reality <laughs> show. Mm, mm, mm. And so I appreciated that. You know, I mean, I know it sounds really crazy. Mm -hmm. But it does, it was, right, Mo? Baby. But it was my life. And I, I mean, you well, know, what? because I, I can truly say that a lot of things that happen in my life, I, this, I, it saved my life. Everything I'm going yes. through saved my life. So let's get back it on course. This all started because we were talking about plastic surgery. Right. You've had your nose done, yeah. and that's it. Okay, speaking of noses, Shantae. Yes, I actually have the same experience as her. Somebody you hit me did? in my nose. Well, yeah. Why didn't we talk about it in the monologue? We didn't, because that wasn't important. We're talking about surgery now, so I'm talking, telling what happened. Yeah, you he can only pick one bad nose. thing in the monologue, but everybody's been through a lot of bad things. Okay. So a man broke your nose. He did, and I fixed it. Was it a baby's father? No, no. Okay. No, Kadeem would never. I was going to say Kadeem. Ever. And if Kenny ever did, I would have beat him to a pulp. But no. <laughs> so no, no. You have a scratch fight with Sorry. Kenny. <laughs> no. No, I was so, because of what happened to me, because I was hit, I have a very, very short wick. With anybody who pulls up on me at Oh, I'll put, get a lamp. I'll get anything. Got Just you. Just anything. Mm. I grab guns. Lifetime movie crazy. Say, you grab yeah. guns, Mo? Pretty okay. like, cray -cray. Immediately. Claudette. Yeah. Are you are you natural or have you had some surgery? All natural, baby. Yeah, the boobs, the yes. nose. I mean, and, and of course yeah, we all can't appear see around understand. her hair either. No, no, no. <laughs> that, that hair is the that Beautiful. hair is the real deal. That, that's yes. no wig. That's no pieces. That's, that's no. Everybody tell me she need new weave. This no, 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 no. no. See that? See that? That's oh, oh, right there. Okay. 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 Now let's talk about little Mo. <laughs> Mo. I had liposuction and I got sick. I got that in '04. Two months later, I got pregnant with my daughter. Okay. Wow. The butt, the hips, everything's oh, natural. Oh, this is real. And I have, it's like 35, 29, 39. So I'm so unproportionate for my height. All on a four foot 11 girl. Yeah, ain't that crazy? Wow. You can put a cup on that booty. And, that just worked too. and <laughs> Kelly. No, but I think I told you I want to get some. No. Every, now, okay, you want to get the breast, but the weight loss. You've had one of the most phenomenal weight loss experiences. I know what people still see is a girl, a, a meaty bone. Yeah. But you were way meatier. Yes. And it was that, that you got gastric bypass? No. No, ma'am. That weight loss happened at a time when my mother and both my mother-in-law had breast cancer. I was scared for my life. And I went harder. I wish I could get back to that girl that worked out twice a day, every day, for over a year. I'm just kind of in a place now where I maintain. Well, what, what people don't know on TV is that TV puts about 25 pounds on you. Yeah. And, you know, when I first saw you today, I said, wow, you know, you've lost weight. And you said, not really. And I guess I became a victim of watching you on TV. I did too, and, and I was horrified. I, I, oh my God. Monster? 
Oh my God, oh. yes. Except for Shantae in that bathing suit. It didn't add a pound. She had a yeah. well, yeah. no. yeah. she 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 your hair hanging out. Well, when we return, Kelly's going to make a big announcement. She's got a surprise. I have no idea, and neither do the girls. Only Kelly knows. We'll find out together. Don't miss it. Up next. That oh wasn't goodness. very Christian like cleavage that you were throwing when we were shooting the video. Your boobies was out. Girl. And my mama told me, she said, Girl. Girl. you know I didn't like that dress. I was like, pray for me. back to the R&B Divas reunion special. Some of the fun moments this season on the show are you guys just, just simply singing and laughing and opening your hearts and ours. The gospel, the soul, the performances. Let's watch. That's the way it was. I'm so impressed with Kelly's showmanship. It's amazing. I mean, she's so comfortable on stage. She's in her element. The lady comes up and she, huge hair, bigger than my hair, and bigger than me too. She's tall and she's gorgeous. She did that high thing up there that everybody thinks that only Mariah Carey can do and Shantae Moore does it like she did it Don Robinson comes up and she kills it everybody knows every single word because we all know every invoke song there is when I hear Misha Lay get on that stage and you took my life as soon as you hear that, you just want to immediately get pregnant. I don't know what it is about that song, but thank God, I'm not. The girls can sing. It was un unbelievable. I, I love hearing the, the Chaka Khan and, and the Your Song. And thank you for that moment. And by the way, did you check the church lady and her boobs Would hanging in church? Would you stop with that? I'm just it was a dress of the moment. That oh wasn't heavens. very Christian like cleavage that you were throwing when we were shooting the video. Your boobies was out. You know what? And my mama told me, she said, Girl. Girl, you know I didn't like that dress. I was like, pray for me, because I'm going to make some mistakes. Okay, Kelly has a big, big announcement. Now, I have no idea what it is. None of us here do. Kelly, take yes. it away. I actually, um, well, it's not a surprise really for all of us, but I think you may be surprised that I'm going to announce it, that um, there's a tour that's getting ready to go out. Oh. And the tour is Faith Evans, myself, Brownstone, uh, Kiki Wyatt, Dawn Robinson, who is not here, and Miss Shantae Moore. Okay. Well, now, wait a minute now. Do you feel a ways, Mo? You Hell weren't no. a, a, Okay. Hell do, no. Do you feel a ways? Not at all. Because I'm ratchet wonderful. a little bit, so that's like a grown folks tour. I'm still <laughs> cr crossover hit music. That's Urban AC. No shade. Yeah. Um, d would you like to be on this tour? Well, I, 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 I'm confused, but I was, I think I was asked. I know I wasn't. Was I? Uh -oh. I don't know. It's okay. You always have to get back to me. No, I didn't. She could take it on the spot because Joe's not here. And she ain't got no songs to sing. And she. Oh. But Can I, I come sing background? But I didn't. <laughs> I don't think I knew about it. 
Yeah, especially on key. Now she knows about it. Can we invite? Um, I, can we invite I, didn't, I don't make the decision on who goes. We have to go to the wizard. I, I had to. No, the, the 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 wizard has nothing to do with it. Okay. Well, shoot, I got a surprise too. My single, the theme song that I wrote well, for the show. Yes. I'm a diva. I made it a full length single, and it's available yes. today at the Little Mo Show. Oh. 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 Since we spread the secrets, and I'm not pregnant. Hey. <laughs> Diva by Little Mo, available online now. We're back with the R&B Divas. I've had a fun time talking with you all. As a fan watching you through the TV, is there anything that we have not covered that you want to leave us with, Michelle? No, Wendy, I think you, you covered me very well. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome, Michelle. Anytime. <laughs> Kelly? Um, I want to tell everybody to continue to support every woman on this stage. Um, real talent in this day and age is very, very rare. Um, so support it when it's in front of you. Mm -hmm. Everybody on the stage is talented. Little Mo. I'm grateful for the opportunity. This platform is one I needed to resurface in this industry. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ride this thing on out till the wheels fall off. That's just me all day. I'm never going to change. Show pony. Yes, ma'am. Claudette, what's next? I'm working on an album, mm -hmm. and I've also had a lot of film opportunity. So, Stop. hopefully, you guys will see me on my acting. Oh nice, my nice, nice. nice. Oh, on that. And Shantae, you're going on tour with Kelly and the ladies. Yeah, that's gonna be exciting. And now, uh, Kenny is no longer fighting you for sole custody of you all's child. Mm -hmm. No, he's fighting for something else, but just okay. Yeah, and just moving on with life, honestly. Yes, life. That's what I want. you know, um, to all the single men out there, there are some single women here on this stage. Watch out. I'm just saying, holler at them. Be weary of this one right here. No, no, no she's a sweet uh, pie. You know, those sweet. babies' fathers are yours. <laughs> Ladies, before we actually get out of here, I just want to find out if there is an R&B Divas season two. Are you in? Absolutely. Are you in? I can't say if it means that I can't be at peace with the lady. You know how you have to be. Are you in? I can't say that. Okay. Are you in, Mo? I'm in, and I want my own spinoff. Speak those things into existence. Okay. Hello? Claudette, are you in for season two, if there is I'm one? in. I'm in. Shantae? Definitely. Yeah. This was fun. Um, Dawn, I wish that you were here for me to ask that question, but I would imagine because you didn't show up to the all-important reunion, then you're definitely not going to even be considered for R&B Divas 2. Now put that up to the wizard. Hello. Fred, thank you so much for dropping by and joining us, helping to clear the air, and for everyone watching. Love you for watching. See you next time for the season two R&B Divas reunion. Put it out there, it might happen. Right, Mo? Yes, yes. ma'am. <laughs> After watching this season, one thing we definitely learned is that great talent comes at a great price. And there ain't nothing cheap about our divas. <laughs> it's my story. I